Well, we are back, everybody, to another part two on this. I can talk to people. Hey, Commander. Hi, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. How are you holding up? Anyway, so what we left off was things were pretty rough down there. Things were bad, and okay. some of the Garrick portrayed them. You know, us. Comes with being a Marine. You didn't betray like you didn't. But to see my whole unit wiped out. Yeah. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Glad to have you. I think you're going to fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> Nice talking to you. Kanan, how are you? Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I need to go to the... Talk to Joker? Go to the on deck, right? Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel. Hey, for a room it looks pretty good. I mean, I've seen this gameplay in 2007, or back PS3 when it came out. It looked pretty good. And I'm like, uh, I kind of hit myself not buying it. Wow. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. SR1. Isn't ours a SR7? I could be wrong. The main one? This Mer is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Was it Star Wars? <laughs> Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. <laughs> Sounds like you convinced the Council to give <clears throat> us an audience. They were not happy about it. Oh, is their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. 
I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Come with me, Captain. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Hold on. And that's why I hate politicians. Hey, me too. <sighs> the Citadel is an ancient deep. The Council is an executive. Spectre. Roughly twelve, the Geth are. A Too much reading. <laughs> after the Geth, the systems alike. Kinetic. Right. Wait, what's the code I said then? Roughly. Thanks, Ashley. Kanan, let's go. Dude, this reminds me of something like, I don't know, Elysium? You ever seen the movie? That's cool. Always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. That's the Ambassador? Enjoy your time on the city. What the? It's like. It's like Star Wars mixed with Men in Black something. <laughs> Sorry. My, like I said, it's my first vampire. This give me a chance. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So, are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. Wow. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Uh, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Citadel Tower. I, I understand why people like this game. This gets uh, the world building, or just the world that looks. Like, you feel like immersive, pretty much. I don't know. Plus, it's like RPG elements. 
No, put that away. I put. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. You don't like Saren? Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Garrus. Okay. I gotta remember most of the names. All the names. Otherwise, I'll get mixed up. Okay. Garrus. Ashley and Caden. Excuse me, Mr. Alien, do you know where I'm going? There you go. Captain Anderson. The hearing's already started. Come on. Hello, Captain. Captain, Captain, Captain. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. Pretty much. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was said. <laughs> Sorry. This meeting is adjourned. Of course. What do you expect from them? What are they going to say? Oh, we're going to be busy? So, like, you know, Commander Shepard's like, so what are going to say? Oh, I had dreams. This is BS. Because they want it facts. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motive. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. 
Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Oof. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, <coughs> thinking on the job. I won't waste my time with them, Lieutenant. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Wow. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Over you and Saren. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. <laughs> All right, then. Should I? Uh, go this way. Well, that was a waste of time coming up here. Well, that's... Well, yeah. That guy's up to something. What guy? What? Oh, no, no I wasn't. Never mind. Huh? Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them. But the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay. The keepers. So these things, right? Or this, they have something on them. Um. Whatever. There's another one up here? Oh, there is. And I got money out of it? Nice. Actually, I saw one downstairs, too, if I remember. Unless that was, like, where I came from, the mission, my mission. Or, like, 
Alaska, the Citadel. When I came in the Citadel, pretty much. Nice waterfall. Where's the water coming from? Don't know. the keepers welcome to presidium tourism terminal 2 I mean, you are standing near the base of the citadel tower one of the presidium's most recognizable and important structures behind me is the spectacular relay monument a scale model representation of a prothean mass relay to your left is one of the keepers the enigmatic caretakers of the citadel working on a control panel you may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's all for now. Thank well. you for using Avina. Have a pleasant day. has the right to move freely through this area. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. The hell? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? You should be more tolerant. It's just trying to express its beliefs. I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. You're suppressing that Hanar's religious freedom. I want you to stop. I should have known that a human wouldn't respect the laws of the Citadel. Why should the jellies get special treatment? Every other species understands and obeys the laws. If I purchased the evangelical permit myself, would that take care of things? As long as it stays in approved areas once it has the permit, yes. That would solve the issue for me. I'll be back. I don't care what you have to do. Just get rid of that Hanar. Okay, you're mean. <laughs> All right. I like another keeper. Wait, where was it again? <laughs> I'm not lost, I was just, just like, I think I'm just going, okay, yeah, All right direction, I think. Let me see, hold on, turn now. Oh my god, these are missions, scan. I saw another keeper over here too.
Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. So, my main job is... The Asari were the first species to discover the Citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who... Pro the second species... Roughly 1,200... Salarians, the Asari... The Asari... Okay. What is... Okay, this makes it a lot easier to do. Wow, this might take a while. <laughs> sort of. Alright, so I'm guessing you have three types of species. You got humans, Asaris, and something. <laughs> uh, that's the last one though. Actually, two of them. Asari's, two more. Asari's and something. Mm. Oops. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Han our language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. And he's gone. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Oh. God dang it. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Uh, let's see. What's this? Abina. Plop, plop, plop. I gotta go to the plot. I can, if I know where the hell that is. Uh, let's go journal. Twenty of them? Jesus Christ. So if I go, dang.
How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gaff on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. <laughs> the music. <laughs> Wow, I can see my reflection. What am I doing here? Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. This is the most exciting sneak peek out so far. It's gotta be the right direction, isn't it? So, Williams, are you happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. Well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Okay. <laughs> ah, I hope I'm going to the right direction. I'm supposed to make meet some guy because he's a drink at the bar, if I remember correct. So these are like cas casino slots, but in, uh, hey, bouncer. Hey, good to see another human. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Enjoy your time here at Flux. Rita. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him hey, about Hey, you look like the girl from upstairs. You should work for Doran before she left, too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSAC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSAC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it, for Jenna's safety. 
Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so. Well, the guy's not here, though. What the hell is this? Presidio, location. Embassies, more classes. I don't know where I'm going to, to be honest. I don't know where the hell the guy's at. I, I wish I knew. Help. <laughs> but again, I'm just like roaming around, just checking this in and out. And I'm back when I'm starting. Oh, great. There has to be... Cars ten. Might be here. I hope so. Flux is that night that little nightclub thing they had. That's him. At least I'm in the right direction. Those are Saren's men. I think we're good, Commander. Nobody heard a gunshot. <laughs> Jenna. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look Charming girl. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. The story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was well, that all about? They're like, I love my no. Let's just try not to get caught <laughs> in the middle. Anyways. Harkin, is that you? Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. 
Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. When you got them, you might as well spread them around. All right. Hero key. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. And Hey guys, Citroen coming on here. Hi, right, can I? Oh, okay. <laughs> Relax. Call it dancing. <laughs> again, again, lap dance by a by a alien. So a hot chick alien. So that's something. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us that he's the inspector? If you have questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. All right, let's see what we got. That company. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Oh, 1400. That's all I have. Uh, come back. My AC has safe energy, or save energy on, so it cuts off once in a while. What's this? It's an alleyway. Should I go the right way? Good lord. So there, to the right. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. 
They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. So, see you around. Oh, well, you got a fan, Shepard? I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we. Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Take cover. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Last shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago... A quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Get. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. <clears throat> yeah, All right. we saw him in the bar. We can handle this on our own. Let's go. Okay. All right, so let's go. Six points. Yes, 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 yes.
so... How would you know? I'll be honest, I don't know how I don't know where I'm going now. Med clinic. Uh probably read the journal says so Find a crane lord hiding in the bar at Cars Den in the Lord Wards meeting the clan Okay, cars in. Is there like a fast travel point? Two fucks. Then. <sighs> Piss office. All right. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! Take him out.
kill me, I surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is. I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. You've got three seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. I never want to see you again, is that clear? Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I'm letting you go. <laughs> ah, crap. Fine, I got health. Perimeter clear. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I really just died right there. I do need some better weapons, to be honest. Uh.
Let's go. All right, we can say Serum first. Is that, you know? Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. me up I knew I couldn't trust him were you hurt in the fight I know how to look after myself not that I don't appreciate the help who are you my name's Shepard I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe the ambassador's office it's safe there we want to see this anyway Well then, that's one that was a while. <laughs> I died once, for once. <laughs> in the You're not making night. my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know oh, how I don't many? Know Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the condo. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Saren. All right, let's throw right there. Eden then. Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. I can't remember all the character's name. Like and one step closer to Talia. the return of the Reapers. I mean, she's very. <clears throat> Interesting. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking wink, about wink. Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? 
My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Oh no. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Oh shit. Well, since, you know, I love women. <laughs> I'm thinking Williams, of course. And Tally. Can't say no to her, right? Alright, let me try my seeds. It's kind of getting cold in here now for some reason. Well, we're looking that way. I gotta look at her. Is she. Is she alien or. Uh, like I said, I don't know the, the world, right? Like the building. I gotta see that. Uh, it's hard to tell, to be honest. No, she's alien. <laughs> yeah, she's alien. <laughs> I mean, uh, she's kind of like a <clears throat> interesting alien. <laughs> wink, wink. I don't know, should I continue the story? No, no, I'll, I'll just get this one out of the way. The Citadel. Probably the one mission at the moment. Tally and I got Tally actually has a, a command people. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Right, so. I'll do one last mission. I gotta meet. Clara's den. Like I said, I don't want the videos to be too, too long. Maybe long enough, but not too long. So, this will, this will be like a real long story to beat. <laughs>
You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> okay. Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! They were like, what was that, Commander? I was like, I, 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 I don't know, just me and a fan. Seriously, what the hell is that guy at? It's gonna put me in the uh, yeah, camera. Let me go down here. He's like, maybe you're the camera in Lane Jenna. What? But I can find you. That's the problem. Nope. Damn, Shepard, you got low skills. You need, that means you need to uh, okay, your skills on ability to run. Well, not to run, but more like have uh, better stamina. of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Right. Right direction. Hey, are you Rex? You, human, you the one they call a shepherd. That's me, Commander Shepard. The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. Taking care of Fist was part of my investigation. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. Hey, look. I got a lockable character, Rex. But still, can't say no to my girls. Am I a simp? That's a good question to ask me, but. No, no, Rex. I'll take you another time. Oh, I gotta go to it. 
I mean, I might as well just get it over and go to the tower. All right, I need a fast travel point. Is it ambassadors? I don't know. Man. Ugh. Dude, this is gonna be a long game to finish, but you know, like I said, I don't wanna edit anything out. Just leave everything out of this. Yeah, I went to the wrong direction. Presidium. I think it's City of the Sour. Damn it. <laughs> Well, yeah, like I said, I don't want to edit, edit anything out, pretty much. I'll just play everything as it is. Because if I edit, it takes forever to render it. Ugh. It takes everything to render everything. Just, and it takes a long time to upload sometimes. Especially Come on. high quality video. Udine is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. I mean, it takes... Beacon Prime was a major victory. Oh, shut up. Beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. <clears throat> I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Venezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful bionic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was expected from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You told me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are Listen, sexy alien myth, woman. Commander. I told you, a you've done me before. To cover Saren's true <laughs> what purpose, am I saying? A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Stop making a hard decision. All right, Councils. Commander Shepard, step forward. But I am forward. Good 
soldier ally. There you go, trophy. How nice is that? Yes, I'm still playing PlayStation 4. On a pro. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Well then, congratulations, nope. Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Spectre and Dutty. Spectre and in Dutty. In the Ola. 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 Sent for something. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Commander. Three hundred years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Sure. If they'd listened, we wouldn't be here now. Sure. <laughs> I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Fair enough. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else. Oh, is what he's on. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. <sighs> Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Okay, new objective, but only on assignments. Well, I think it's the end of it right here, because we got the job, and we got the job to do. Take down Serum. Serum, Serum, Serum. I'm bad at remembering the names of the games. Right. So, uh, I guess I'll end the video right here. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys. Uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys later.